Hello everyone, Dr. Stevens here. So in this video, I'll be talking about Parkinson's disease in SPM and RGCSE. Okay, so Parkinson's disease in exam will be asking about the cause as well as the clinical features. Alright, so let's talk about the cause of Parkinson's disease. You must understand that Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease. So let's look at the word itself. Neuro means neuron, which means nerve cells, okay? And degenerative means degeneration, or in other words, the progressive loss. So Parkinson's disease is actually caused by the progressive loss of neurons in part of the brain. Okay, so it doesn't happen in a day or two and it takes quite a long time for it to progress and therefore it normally happens in the elderly. Okay, so the main thing that you must understand that I always teach my student is Parkinson's. You know, you look at the word in front, Park, P-A. So think about the neurotransmitter dopamine, right, as a P-A. So Parkinson's disease is due to a drop of dopamine remember this okay so the neurons that are that they are dying in the brain okay those are dopaminergic neurons which means those are the neurons that are transmitting using dopamine all right so the drop in dopamine is another main important uh, cause in the progression of parkinson's disease okay so now let's look at the clinical features of parkinson's disease Okay, so in medical school, our medical lecturers will teach us, okay, will ask us questions like this. What is the gold standard of investigation for Parkinson's disease? So if you say CT brain or MRI brain, then totally that will be the wrong answer. Because Parkinson's disease is a clinical diagnosis, which means if a patient fulfills these clinical features, you can safely diagnose them as having Parkinsonian symptoms or Parkinson's disease. So let's talk about these uh, few features which are also written in your textbook. So the first thing that you must understand is tremor, okay? Tremor. Tremor simply means trembling, okay, of hands. But you must understand not all tremors equal to Parkinson's disease. You know, I have students coming to me telling me that I have tremor. Am I having Parkinson's disease? I mean, to be honest, the Parkinson's disease tremor is correct normally starting from one side. Okay, and it has a specific pattern we call it pill rolling. All right, so this one you don't have to write in your exam, but just to tell you some, uh, to fulfill your curiosity. Okay, so secondly, we have what we call as slow movement. Okay, in higher level, we call this as bradykinesia. So if we ask the patients to do like this or do like this, you know, we can do this very easily because we are normal, but the patients would take a long time and they find it difficult to do all these actions. And the way they walk, the way they turn their body are also very slow. Okay? So thirdly, we have what we call as rigidity. So we ask the patients to stay relaxed, okay? And you can generally move the joints and you will feel that in normal normal person, it will be quite easy to move, okay? And it's not hard or stiff. But in patients with Parkinson's disease, you'll find it difficult to move the joint even though they are, they are relaxing their, their hands or their upper limbs because they're what we call as rigidity. And last but not least, Parkinson's patients do have poor balance. And this is actually giving you a very hazardous consequence because they can suffer from fall. All right, so please remember these four important clinical features of Parkinson's disease. We have tremor, slow movement, rigidity, and poor balance. So some students might wonder, how do we actually treat Parkinson's disease? All right, the general idea is like this, okay? We can't cure Parkinson's disease because there is no magic to replenish the neurons in the brain yet. You know, we don't know how can we actually regrow the neurons in the brain. But we have ways to relieve the symptoms of the patients, okay? So this is a multidisciplinary approach, but the main concept that we can talk about is by raising the dopamine in the central nervous system. Okay, if you're interested, you can actually look for more information, okay, in the net. Okay, so this is the important essence, okay, of Parkinson's disease.